Okay, today we're going to work on stencils with acrylic paint on unprimed canvas. So I've got a bunch of stuff out that you can see right now and uh, we'll start playing with some of this so you can see how it works. <clears throat> so one of the simplest types of stencils that you can do is cut out of paper. And you can use an X-Acto knife to make a nice sharp edge. I'll just do one really quick here. It's just regular, kind of stiff white paper, okay? Use a cutting mat. Always be careful when you're working. Always know where this other hand is when this hand is cutting. Keep it behind the one that's cutting and you should stay pretty safe. <coughs> so we'll do a couple here and see what happens. We're going to use some white paint, which we did these two with. We used white paint with a little bit of color in them. So this time I'm just going to use straight white paint so you can see it. Dipping my brush in water first. You always want to get your brushes wet before you put them in the paint because that way the paint won't just gob on in the end. It'll go into the brush. Work it through your brush because then you have a lot of control. You see how thin that edge is? You have complete control now because you got the brush wet first and <clears throat> when you dipped it in the paint, you worked it. So just so you can see that. You make beautiful lines. This is a dry piece of unprimed canvas, meaning it doesn't have any gesso or primer on it. And we're going to use this piece of paper just straight. We're just going to hold it down with our fingers. And rub a little paint in. Don't ever be afraid to use your fingers. It's a good way to blend things in a little bit more. And when we take that off, we're going to blot it so we can use it again. Okay? And it's really that simple if you're careful. And I, again, I blotted it so that the paint could dry. So if I can use it again without, I could probably use it again right now without its um, leaking around the edges. We're going to go ahead and try something else next. So the second simplest thing you can do is use artist tape. And artist tape is different than other tape in that it it is not, it doesn't have legs. And what I mean by that is it doesn't grow adhesive down into the canvas. And that's important when you're working. So notice when I'm putting this down, I'm pulling it tight. I'm pulling it tight like this from edge to edge. And then put it on and then use the back of your finger and press it down good and tight. Now what that does is sets you up so that when you paint in that line, it's not going to go under the edges. It's going to be nice and sharp. In a normal situation, I would let that dry before I pulled it off, but you can actually Pull it off right now, and you've got a really clean line. So you can 
tape out areas and paint within them. You can tape lines. You can brush away from edges. But the tape's pretty wonderful. Another favorite of mine is working with natural ingredients like plants and you can use them as the stencil either positively or negatively and I'll show you how that works. So this piece of canvas has already been painted in the past you can see how it's soft and bleedy, and this shows you that it was used um, very wet, and it'll give you this effect. We're not going to get it wet again. We're going to use the stencils in a different way and, um, and see if we can see what's going on. So I'm going to try putting a few of these down here, and we will, in fact, Use some white paint again, just so you can see what's happening. And I'm going to use a, uh, a fuzzy edger for this. These work great. You can get them at the hardware store. Okay, so that's one effect that you can do. The second effect, we're going to go the other way around. We're going to take this, these same pieces, so let me lay them down for a moment, and we're going to See what happens. If we take this and we're going to add a little bit of brown. We're going to paint these weeds so that we can use them to print with. Instead of being a negative model, they'll be a positive model. So let's give this a try. We're going to turn them around like that. And press a piece of paper down. Okay, we got a few nice marks. You can see what's beginning to happen. We're beginning to build it up here. Let's try a few more. Let's see if we can get this to show up a little bit better.
and we'll lay that down. Press down the piece of paper again. See what kind of marks we got. We're beginning to get there. So the most important thing that's happening here is not that we're getting perfect representations of these on your canvas, but that you're getting marks on your canvas that aren't happening with a brush. So right now I'm going to try something just a little bit more because I know some of you would like to really see No, see, I probably got it a little too wet. Yep. So let's get another one where we don't go quite so wet on it. There we go. And you can just keep building it up. Okay, let's try another method. It is something that I've had a lot of fun with. So <clears throat> I printed up a really large picture of a letter form that I liked and then used it as a stencil to cut out of this cheap contact paper regular old white contact paper you can use expensive frisket if you want but I just used regular contact paper and you can use either this part or this part and let's use this part so you can see how this works. And you can trace, you can just uh, anything you can print and trace. I just tape it up on a window. forget where it goes you can always just put the rest of it back in place okay now I've got this stuck on I'm gonna do two things I'm gonna tape it down on this side so I don't overlap a little bit there so I'm just gonna make sure and do a little bit there just a 
keep that clean. Okay. Now go around with the back of your finger, fingernail, around every single edge. This is dry. I painted the original wet and then let it dry. Make sure that the contact paper gets down with no bumps. If it seems like it's getting funny, add a little more art tape. Okay, I think I've got it good enough for what we're going to do. And I'm going to use the handy painter again because I think it'll do the trick that I really want. Now, do your best to stay away from the edges. This is a little bit wet. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's unveil and see how we did. Pretty good.